I am thrilled. My name's Matt, Matt Nolan. I'm thrilled and honored to deliver this Excellence in Teaching Award to my mentor, colleague, and friend of 27 years, Dr. Judith Schwartz. Judy's path to her extraordinary career as a maker, educator, author, and collector is littered with the glitterati of our field. Um, Judy is shown here with a diptych by maybe one of the most glittery of the glitterati, um, her mentor and friend Howard Kotler, and she's this is um, you know her sitting in her home with um, uh, a diptych by Howard. Judy's intense training included building technical skill and discipline at Ohio State University and Queens College. She not only became a potter and sculptor, but also an anthropologist, sociologist, art historian, chemist, artist, and teacher, um, all possible because of the umbrella of ceramics. After graduation, Judy was hired by Lennox China to be their first educator, lecturing and demonstrating the making of fine china in department stores throughout the USA. She also became a licensed boys industrial art shop teacher at JHS 13 in Spanish Harlem and was the first woman to hold that position. At the same time, she opened a studio on 27th Street and 3rd Avenue in New York City in 1964 and was the maker, sales department, public relations, and self-promoter of her wares. The diversity of her craft background led to a distinguished um, position at New York University where she, you know, has been an educator for 47 years. As the head of the ceramics area, she's created an amazing program. This is going very fast. Um, uh, and developed a studio that is just an amazing place to work for the students. It's beautiful, well-organized, fantastic place. She's created um, courses in mold making and production lines. Um, also expanded the program to include metals, um, as well as glass. And um, our uh, program in glass is at the Urban Glass Center in Brooklyn. It's maybe one of the premier in the country um, offer glass blowing classes at their state of the art facility there. She's taught countless uh, talented undergrads and grads who went on to begin careers as studio artists like Kenjiro Katati, um, here with his figurative sculpture. Um, she's worked with doctor doctoral students, visiting faculty, invited guests from around the world, and students have been moved and influenced with projects such as this Trump Blair project, which are, are the real donuts. It makes me kind of hungry. Um, Judy's also trained many future art teachers, and you can see her here with a group of her students. Um, Judy's also created conferences at NYU, like the Clay Forum. It's kind of like a mini Nsika that benefited the Watershed Center for Ceramic Arts, where she served as the board president in the past. As a writer and author, Judy's published numerous articles and essays on current ceramic practice. You can see that image there. Um, she's in great demand as a lecturer, literally all over the world, and she's traveled often on her own dime to speak about and promote contemporary ceramics. Um, here she spoke on the donated collection of 150 works at the Flint Museum in Michigan. She's a curator of exhibitions worldwide, like this one for Exhibits USA, um, an independent curatorial agency. Many of you know that place. This is uh, from a recent show at the Clay Arts Center in Port Chester featuring New York City ceramic sculptors. She's also started the first and only clay activity in a hospital setting in New York City. Um, after a master's in art education, it was her um, doctoral dissertation on satire that changed and pushed her into a whole new direction. And she focused on satire and ceramic art, and particularly the work of Robert Arneson, amongst others, who through satiric punning was able to make strong political and social statements about society. That research grew into the identification of a movement, and in 2001, she identified 25 American artists dealing with social and political protest, which then culminated in an exhibition called Confrontational Clay. The success of that exhibition led to her book that most of you know, Confronta Confrontational Ceramics, which continues to influence the field, and particularly teachers in their classroom assignments and conversations about how art can and does empower. 
Couldn't resist sharing this Russian poster for that. that yeah, 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 yeah. Um, some people want gold watches at the end of their career to commemorate retirement, but Judy created this artwork to honor her 47 years at NYU. She asked former students and faculty to send three inch diameter pieces, uh, fired pieces, to make this mosaic dog bench. She proceeded to make the, uh, a mosaic out of all of those things, plaques, awards, tchotchkes, collected over time to create a sculptural expression of almost 50 years as an art professor. Everyone loves Judy, every single person. And in closing, when asked recently what constitutes your decision making, Judy responded, it is my philosophy coupled with my physical stamina to never say no. And then she continued, it's there for you to read. Um, and now I'm really proud to present this award to the professor of passion herself, Dr. Judith Schwartz. Thank you.